So the last question that we're going to tackle is what is BIRADS and what does it mean for me? Because you may be being sent to see a doctor based on a BIRADS classification of four or five or even two and you really don't know why that is. So BIRADS, B-I-R-A-D-S, it's an acronym and it stands for Breast Imaging Reporting and Data Systems. And this is a nomenclature tool that's used uh, to help with quality assurance and mammography. It was published and trademarked by the American College of Radiology, and the scoring helps to categorize imaging findings into specific categories to help women and their doctors to, ask the to answer the question, were there any abnormal findings? So the test is not diagnostic, and that's really important to understand. It does not diagnose breast cancer. It can only call attention to abnormal findings. And there are seven categories, BIRADS 0 through 6. So BIRADS 0 is actually an incomplete test. This may occur if there's motion artifacts. So for instance, you're getting your mammogram and you happen to move exactly as the image is being taken. That would cause a BIRADS 0 classification. It could mean that this new imaging needs to be compared to prior films that are not available at that moment to the radiologist. So they may have to call to Atlanta to get your images now that you live in Florida, in Tallahassee, Florida. So that would mean an incomplete test. Or if additional imaging is necessary, or, such as additional mammography views or an MRI. All of those would classify a BIRADS 0 category. BIRADS 1 means that there is no concerning finding at the time of the test. This is a negative result, and it simply means that you need to continue having your yearly mammograms. It does not give you a free pass to not have a mammogram again or to skip a year. It simply means continue to do your annual mammograms. And as an aside, most insurance companies are real sticklers that for screening mammograms, you have to have your follow-up mammogram a year and a day from your last one. So if you had your mammogram September 1st, 2019, the earliest you could have your screening mammogram in 2020 is September 2nd. So what is BIRADS 2? BIRADS 2 is used when there is a finding, but it has benign characteristics. For instance, if a simple cyst is found, and again, a yearly mammogram is recommended. BIRADS 3 is when most likely the findings are benign, but there is a finding that is somewhat concerning. So in this case, you would be asked to repeat imaging in six months. Now, that being said, even with a BIRADS-3 category, if you have significant risk factors, for instance, if you yourself have had breast cancer in the past, further studies may be needed sooner than simply repeating imaging in six months. So what is BIRADS-4? BIRADS-4 is that there is a suspicion of breast cancer that is increased and you will likely at that point be advised to have a biopsy. And you may even see subcategories of BIRADS-4. So in BIRADS-4A, this is a low suspicion of breast cancer, less than 10%. BIRADS-4B is moderate suspicion, 10 to 50%. And BIRADS-4C is highly suspicious, greater than 50%. So now we get to BIRADS-5. So BIRADS-5, the finding is very suspicious for breast cancer, greater than 95% likelihood. And a biopsy is necessary to figure out the next steps in treatment. And with a BIRADS finding of five, studies show that breast cancer is found in 75 to 97% of biopsies. So it's not 100%, but it's quite high. So it really cannot be ignored. Now, BIRADS-6 is a category that is only used once a biopsy has been done 
and once breast cancer has been diagnosed. So it means that there is a known breast cancer. In this case, imaging would be done to see, for instance, a response to treatment. For instance, if a woman is having chemotherapy, we want to follow up and see what the new imaging shows or follow up imaging to further categorize a cancer that has been found, for instance, an MRI.